reaction tonight on President Trump's controversial immigration policy. At the top of the hour, we told you how the president signed an executive order to keep families together at the border. Earlier this afternoon, News 6's Jerry Askin spoke with Florida gubernatorial candidate Adam Putnam about his views on the policy. Jerry joins us now live in downtown Orlando. And Jerry, what did Mr. Putnam have to say? Well, today I tell you, uh, Mr. Putnam, he said he's, well, he's in town today from Tallahassee reacting. He said he uh, supports President Trump's um, signed executive order, all as many organizations today are also reacting. Despite President Trump's zero tolerance policy and his fight to crack down on people who cross the border illegally, today he signed an executive order to keep families together. This despite his policy, which has led to border separation amongst families. We need to enforce our laws in a humane way and we need to keep families together. Today, Florida's Agricultural Commissioner Adam Putman was in town from Tallahassee. We asked about his stance on today, the immigration policy. He said he supports the president's decision. Decisive, bold action uh, to end the policy that has been uh, uh, pulling children away from their parents. Meantime, all week and even today, we've seen outrage from many Democratic lawmakers as we're getting aerial views of children here at this homestead facility who've been separated from their parents. But now! Now is the time to do what is right, what is fair, and what is just. Mr. President, don't you have kids? Don't you have kids, Mr. President? And today, American Airlines, among many organizations, releasing a statement about this uh, border, border separation situation. Um, American Airlines saying, in part, we have no desire to be associated with separating families or worse, to make a profit from it. Also going on to say, we bring families together. Read more of their statement right now at ClickOrlando.com. We're live in downtown Orlando. Jerry Askin, News 6.